We're gonna be chatting about some makeup today because ColourPop introduced their second line of Sailor Moon collaboration series items. A while back, I did a review of ColourPop's very first collaboration with Sailor Moon. I wasn't super impressed. I was pretty critical about the entire collaboration altogether. But now that this second one has come out, I do have to say that I feel a lot more positive about it overall. One of my biggest critiques with the first collaboration was it felt kind of bland. It didn't feel very Sailor Moon. The color story was kind of vague and boring, but now that we have a second palette, I feel like ColourPop is trying to tell us to use both of these collaborations together as one full lineup of Sailor Moon makeup. Let's go ahead and dig in and I'll explain why I feel that way. So I'm going to show you each of these items sitting here on my table and I will explain each of these compared to the previous collaboration. Hey. Also, I did a review on my YouTube channel covering the previous ColourPop collaboration, so feel free to watch that video as well. Let's go ahead and get started with these two pressed powder highlights. They come in two colors. These are Moonlight and Moon Kingdom, and both of them have the same exact packaging with Luna on the back and Luna and Artemis on the front. And there is some silver holographic foil used for the print as well as some of the outer layer of the design. The interior of the box has the planetary symbols, super cute. And these two pressed highlighters, one has Artemis on the front, the other one has Luna. You have Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon ColourPop listed at the top. And then on the back, you have the name of each one. So I am wearing both of these highlighters today. I'm wearing the Luna one on my cheeks and this one right above my cheeks. So this highlighter is definitely pressed. I can definitely tell when I run a brush through it. It's very, very sheen. It's not super overpowering, super bright, and it also is not super sparkly. So it's pretty subtle in terms of a highlighter, but you can tell that there's a bit of a light sheen going on with it whenever I put it on my skin. The Luna one out of the box looks almost purple. It's definitely a cooler color than last year's highlighters, but when you actually spread it on your cheeks, it does come out as a little bit more pink. And that's because again, it is a very subtle color. And this one is very matte as well. So if we compare these two colors to last year's colors, with the last collab, we had very warm colors for the two highlighters. And this year we have a couple of colors that are a bit more cool on the cooler side. Last year we had a coral type of highlighter and this year we have one that's almost a little bit more purple or plum. Moving on, this year we got a couple of new items from ColourPop and these are two cream gel liners for your eyes. Now I do like how the packaging has the eyes of all the Sailor Guardians on the side of it. And each of the Sailor Guardians has like a holographic look to their eyes so I really like the printing style done on here it's really cool and these are listed as the BFF cream gel liners there are two colors these are crystal Tokyo and Azabu Juban those two colors actually make sense to me and the names make sense since these are both locations in Sailor Moon. Azabu Juban is, of course, Usagi's neighborhood, and then Crystal Tokyo is the future city of Tokyo. I appreciate that they made the Crystal Tokyo color a bright teal color, which kind of goes along with all the crystals that you see in Crystal Tokyo in the anime, so it works with the color palette of that city. It is a much more cooler color, and it just generally looks very pretty. And I have to say, in terms of gel eyeliners, or gel liners, these do come out pretty light. However, the harder you press down, the more color you get out of them. I'm actually wearing this underneath my eyes today, and there's almost a gold underglow with the color story on these. It's very, very pretty, and it comes out very smooth. I really like these. The purple one has more of a matte color story to it. This one also comes out very, very smooth, but you can tell that there's not a gold sheen or a gold underglow happening with this one. It's much more matte. Now, last year we did get a couple of different glitter gels, and this year we got a new item. It's called Moon Crystal Power, that's the color. This is called the So Dewy Face Gloss. 
On the front of here, we have the Crystal Star Compact, Sailor Moon's Crystal Star Compact. On the sides, we get each of the Inner Sailor Guardians transformation pens. The interior of this packaging also has the same planetary symbols. And I like that this is shaped like the Crystal Star Compact, but it also has the compact printed on the front of it in this silver holographic printing. Now, last year's glitter gel dried pretty dry. Whenever you put it on your face, it was very, very sparkly and it's one of the things that I like to wear whenever I go to the Renaissance Fair and I want to have like a mermaid vibe going on. This is very different. It's called this So Dewy Face Gloss. It certainly feels like a lip gloss that you're putting on your face and I don't say that in a positive way. Even though it's this very very pretty pink color, it comes out very sticky. It is a very, very sticky product. In fact, I'm wearing it right now. I put it on before recording maybe uh, 15, 20 minutes ago, and my face is still sticky. I'm not sure if I'm putting this on wrong or if there's something very specific that you're supposed to do with this product, but it's so sticky that it's not something I would recommend. It's just, it's very gross. <laughs> it feels kind of gross. It feels, it, it makes you feel a little bit dirty, even though it's supposed to be a makeup item. I'm just not a fan of anything that makes me feel sticky, so I'm really not a fan of this. I wish they used the glitter gels that they used last year because even though those come out pretty wet when you put them on your face, they do dry and they do dry to a point where they're not feeling sticky. So a very, very big difference with the item that they released this year. Okay, moving on, we did get a couple of pairs of lip products. So these are called the Ultra Lip Duos. The names of these are Heroin and Celestial Power. I love the transformation sequences that we see on both sides of the packaging here. And then we have a couple of different color stories with these. We have this golden color that you can put on your on your lips as a lip gloss. It's called the Ultra Lip Gloss. And then we have this pinker color that you can wear as an ultra blotted lip. On the other side, we have more of a brown or a nude color as well as a silver lip gloss. I actually mixed these today. I decided to wear the more brown color for the blotted lip, which is called Sailor Fuku. And then I wore Pretty Guardian, the more golden color for the ultra glossy lip. I felt like these two colors, the gold and the brown, work together really, really beautifully to give you a really nice warm glow in terms of your lips if you don't wanna go for something that's super pink. The other two colors in these pairs are Sailor Star for the blotted lip, that's the pink one, and Transformation, which is the silver glossy lip. Unfortunately, if you only like one or the other, then you are stuck buying these pairs. They were not sold separately. You can only buy this pair together or this pair together. In comparison, last year we got a couple of more warm lip products, warmer color stories that you could wear. So if you wanted to mix it up with those previous ones, you could totally do that as well. So moving on to the last item in today's ColourPop collaboration is their palette. So this is an eyeshadow palette. It's called the Pressed Powder Palette. This one is called For Love and Justice, Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon. We have this beautiful print of the Inner Sailor Guardians on the front, more of a lavender or pinkish pastel color for the packaging. On the back, we get each of the names of the different colors, as well as some cute little holographic stars along the background too. And this has this really beautiful print of the moon behind it. This year's palette is not as exciting in terms of packaging as last year's. Last year, we had that, oh, what's it called? Lenticular. We had the lenticular packaging. I, I always forget that word. Lenticular packaging was on the front of the palette last year as well as the highlighters. This year we have more of like a 3D print so you can kind of feel the texture of this this image on the front of the palette. So still really cool, not as cool as that lenticular art, but on this one, we have all five of the guardians represented on the packaging. The back of this does have the names of each of the different items that comes on the interior. The inside of this does not have a mirror, but we do have that printing that again is embossed. You can feel it, it's kind of cool. Now here's the colors for this year's 
palette. I appreciate that each of the names is next to the different palette colors, so it's really easy to find them all. And I do feel like this year, we have a bit more representation in terms of the different Sailor Scouts as compared to the previous collaboration. So for last year, we did get one shiny purple and we did get one yellow, which definitely matched with Sailor Moon's hair. But the rest of the colors were more nude, peachy, kind of like peach colors and pinkish colors. We didn't really get a lot of variety in terms of that and all of the colors were very, very warm. Now compared to this year's ColourPop collab with Sailor Moon, we have a lot more cooler colors. So we have some blues represented in here, which definitely remind me of Sailor Mercury and Neptune. We have a beautiful, beautiful purple here and a lavender purple up here. Both of those kind of remind me of Sailor Saturn. And then we have some other colors sprinkled in. We have this beautiful one up here that's like a duochrome. It kind of shifts between a, a bluish color as well as a more brown color. Very pretty when put together. It's almost like an aura. And that one is called So Cosmic. And then we have a couple of mattes, of course, and some really pretty glitters. I really like this glitter. However, it does have some fallout, but it works really well if you put this on your your lids, it definitely brings out a lot of color. Now today I am wearing several of these colors on my eyelids. I'm wearing this teal, which totally, totally matches with the eyeliner. So you can wear these together and they almost blend together. They look really good. This purple I'm wearing on my top lid and it definitely matches with these darker purple colors too. So I'm wearing these two darker purples on my eyelid. I'm also wearing this one in the center of my eyelid to kind of give it a bit more of a brighter color. I'm wearing Save the World as a base, even though it does have some glitter sprinkled in, but I still think it looks really pretty as well. So if you wanna get like a really pretty smoky eyeshadow eyeliner color, then you could definitely get this out of this year's collab. So now that we have two lines of Sailor Moon makeup from ColourPop, I have found that I really like using the two palettes together so that I can really merge the two different color stories as one. This one has more cool colors and the other palette has a lot more of those warmer colors. So at this point, we do still have a couple of Sailor Guardians that are not represented in either of those palettes. And I would argue that those would be Sailor Mars. Even though she does have purple bows, I would like to see a more reddish color included in here. And we have nothing that would really compare with Sailor Jupiter. Even though she has a pink bow, we don't have any really beautiful greens that you could pop on your eyes. I would love to see ColourPop do a maybe a third collaboration with Sailor Moon that introduces the outer Sailor Guardians, maybe includes a green in there so that we have a full line of different color stories that we could use all together. I think that would be essential if you wanted to do cosplay for each of these Sailor Guardians as well. If you wanted to go for like a more spruced up cosplay and have something that matched your uniform if you were dressing up as one of the Sailor Guardians. But now that we have this second collaboration, I did mention at the beginning that I felt more positive and I do definitely feel that with this collaboration line. I think based on the names that we see here and what they have introduced in terms of colors this year, tell me that they were listening to our feedback and criticisms with the last collaboration with Sailor Moon that they did and we got more variety with this one. So I do think that if you are interested in the ColourPop lines, both of them are still available. They have been restocking them, which is great and I love that. They're also sold at Ulta, so I was able to pick up all of these in person at Ulta when they first released. They're pretty fairly priced. In fact, during the holidays, they were selling a lot of these for 50% off or around that amount. So great prices overall, but I wouldn't get the full set. I would say that each of these different sets has pieces that would work with like my skin tones. So I would definitely look at each of those and pick and choose which color story you wanna go with. You could definitely mix and match, but given I don't like everything in the collection, specifically like this, this face gloss, I would not buy the entire collection outright. So let me know your thoughts and if you have any questions about the ColourPop line or if you wanna make any comparisons with other makeup collaborations out there with Sailor Moon, then let me know those below as well. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you wanna see more Sailor Moon reviews and I'll see you next time. Ciao!